Hey everyone and welcome to another video and today we're taking a look at a set of active noise cancelling headphones. So these are actually from the same company for which I actually did a review a few days ago. For you guys it may be a bit later but um, I have already done a review on these particular headphones. Um, this was very budget uh, headphones and basically the build and sound quality uh, was reflective of that. Um, these ones are a little bit more expensive, but they do come with a few extra features, uh, namely longer battery life. Uh, they do have NFC fast pairing, um, supposedly high res audio, as well as what's advertised as active noise cancelling uh, capabilities. So taking a look at the actual packaging, it's all very simple. Just a few details front and back for that. Um, I will have links in the description below for both products. So anybody interested, you can just check them out there. So opening up the box and one thing that I liked straight away, so I have already unboxed this particular product and have obviously been testing it. Um, main reason for that is just to save you guys some time in terms of first impressions um, and also to give you some feedback, save you having to watch a second video. So I do like the fact that it comes in a protective case and one thing you may notice straight away is how narrow this particular case is. So unlike this particular set of headphones, which um, did fold down, but wouldn't actually rotate. Um, these ones do actually rotate. So opening it up, let's take a look at what we get. So firstly, in, in the actual packaging, we do get a user manual just there. Uh, we get a right angled 3.5 millimeter cable, and we also get a micro USB cable for charging just there. And that is the right angled 3.5 millimeter headphone cable that I probably won't be using at all. Coming on to the actual headphones themselves, as you can see, they do rotate and on the inside of the ear cups, you do have clear labeling for left and right. The actual cushions themselves are nice and soft. Um, I'm not sure that these are leather, but they're, they're made to look like a faux leather type of uh, material. On the back of them, on the actual ear cups themselves, this is all plastic, it's all plastic build. And at the top, it's that same material um, in the actual headband itself. The padding is not as much as I would like on this particular set of headphones because it is slight, they are slightly heavier. What I personally found was I actually have to extend this a lot more than I would normally have. So just so then they're actually clamping on the sides of my head as opposed to resting on top of my head. Um, I didn't find this padding to be very good at all. On the actual ear cups themselves, the left cup has nothing. So no controls on the left cup at all. The right cup has basically everything. So coming from front to back, uh, well, actually, yeah, back to front. So you have your volume up, volume uh, down, and the power button in the middle. Your power button basically doubles as your play pause button, as well as any function buttons as well. Next to that, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the charging port. And just after that, you have the ANC switch. Now the ANC switch, I'll come on to a little later on because that's basically one of the main selling points of these particular headphones. So in terms of comfort, as I said, uh, the headband isn't great, but the actual cushions themselves, because these are slightly bigger, they're almost over ear uh, headphones. I'd say they're still on ear headphones. Um, but they almost cover the entirety of my ears. So it does create a good seal, literally just with the, the cups themselves. In terms of sound quality, they're not the loudest. Similar to the previous set that I actually tested, they're not the loudest considering the price point and on that merit, I would say that they're more than capable of being used as maybe a spare set around the house or if you did want to just pair these with a TV or something just for night listening, something like that. I did test it with uh, iTunes audio as well as just YouTube audio as well. YouTube audio tends to be a lot louder um, so you do manage to get a little bit more out of it. Um, but e either way, they're not, they're not the loudest. Um, I'm not sure whether that's capped and whether that would actually be slightly louder with the cable or not, but that's not something that I would actually be using these for. Hence why all my testing was done using them, um, using them through Bluetooth basically. Right. So coming on to the noise cancellation. So 
Initially, when I actually tested these, um, I actually thought that the noise cancellation button was fake because I couldn't notice any difference. Now, what I did do was I did a white noise test. So I played some white noise on my phone and then I switched the actual headphones themselves. That made a slight difference. And hey what everyone. I'm gonna do- So this is a test that I'm doing using my Sennheiser Ambient Smart headset. So currently I have it plugged into my iPhone 12 Pro Max and I've got the uh, Sennheiser headset set to transparency mode. Currently there's nothing playing. So what I'll do is on the Apple TV, I'm just going to hit play and show you what sample noise I'm using. So this is what the sample noise sounds like. And as you can see, these are the headphones. Once again, I'm not going to try and pronounce the name. And first thing I'm going to do is just put them on, not actually turn on uh, noise cancellation or anything like that. So I will play. Okay, so just popping them on now. So what you should notice straight away is, let's take, okay, so what you should have noticed is despite the fact that the headphones weren't actually on, we did get a little bit of cancellation in terms of passive noise cancellation. What I'm going to do now is just switch them on and we'll see how well the actual noise cancellation does. Power on. Connected. So that's with noise cancellation actually enabled. Noise cancellation on. Noise cancellation off. cancellation on noise cancellation off so as you can see it makes a tiny bit of a difference but it's not massive what happens is when you're actually playing back anything any white noise externally you get a tiny tiny bit of a difference and it's mainly just the lowest frequencies so the the high pitch sort of um, white noise sound that still comes through almost all of it but it does reduce a tiny bit of the low end when you actually play back white noise through the headphones it's slightly different so it actually changes the tone of the audio coming through so the reason i did that test was to see what sort of impact it's actually having on the sound that you're listening to when you actually make use of the noise cancellation. Because the, the first thing, like straight away when I first switched it on and I actually started testing them, I noticed straight away that the tone of the, the, the music or the video, whatever you're playing back, it seemed to change when you actually activated the noise cancellation. Because of that, I thought the best best way to test it is using some white noise. And yeah, as, as I suspected, it was actually changing um, some of the, the tone of what's actually coming through. So it's not the best in terms of noise cancellation. Now, obviously I haven't tested this in any type of environment like a train, a plane or anything like that. Um, travel is still very restricted here in the UK. but. I'm not massively impressed by the noise cancellation on these. So in terms of buying these as a cheap set of noise cancelling headphones, I wouldn't recommend them for that purpose. Just as a pair of headphones, yeah. And for the price point, once again, for over ear headphones with, if it does reach 50 hours uh, playback time, even if it does half of that, to be perfectly honest, um, that's that's still very good value for money. They're, they're not that expensive. If I was buying somebody else's set, I would probably be fine with buying these as as a gift for somebody else um, they're not the strongest build once again so the, uh, with the previous ones the clasp uh, mechanism was slightly different on these ones you do actually have some numbering um, not sure if that will come through or not you do actually have some numbering just along here so what you can actually do is match up rather than having to guess how many how many clicks um, I am judging these based on the price that they actually advertised at 
and obviously with any discounts or anything that that could become even better um, and on on Amazon you're always getting discounts anyway so in conclusion not a terrible set of headphones uh, more than usable around the house just as a spare set of headphones but I wouldn't recommend these as like your main or only set of headphones because the actual loudness of these is is just slightly lacking um, and especially if you're using these outdoors what you'll find is yeah you'll be able to hear everything perfectly fine but they probably won't drown out any uh, external noise especially if, if you are in a very noisy environment in terms of noise leakage it's not terrible uh, even with these fully off they're not actually that loud so in terms of leakage they're not terrible unless you completely max them out but to be perfectly honest most of the time you actually end up having to max them out just to be able to get some good um, good sound out of them <laughs>